When you add the fish in, don't have to stir it, just let it sit. When it's ready, the fish will float up. Oh, guys, 250 baht for this fish. You serve with this sauce. Ah, hot. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel with me Sai. Today I'm very excited. I'm in Phuket and at the fisherman market or Talat Ching Pa. Now I'm very very excited for this vlog because I'm gonna experience the fresh fish from the sea. So why this one is special because you see that boat, not the yard, like over there. There's a fisherman boat that was supposed to bring a fresh fish into one of these shops over here very fresh reasonable price at 8 right now is 7 30 so let's let's look where um, the local stand up in the shell one of the shell will stand up there I read the review said like it would be so difficult to get the fish out of the local because they're very quick now I'm the new bee we see what type of fish oh look someone already got this fish look at that Oh my god, this is the fish. Ani pa pa le ka? Pa le na ka? Pamong. This one is pamong fish. I don't know what it is, but what they best to cook is very fresh. I'll look if we can get one fresh from the fisherman. Actually, this one is very fresh. Ani tham gap khao tham lai dai mang ka? Ao tham mala. Ani aloi. Pen bun nung lai ka? Pen bun nung lai la ka? Ap gan som. Tham lai thuk yang lai chai mai ka? I said what this. ทำข้าวต้มทอดชูชีเนื้อมันจะเหมือนเนื้อปลากระพงไหมคะเนื้อปลาเนื้อนิ่ม The texture is soft and she's like this is the number one Thai number one fish that you need to get like the like one go the one that you go for is called pamung I don't know what that in English is and it's supposed to go well with every every dish the sour soup and you know like a rice poached soup with fish five fish now in the saliva Pamung. the texture is soft we go have a look from the other shop and then if I can't fight with other people we come and get Pamung to cook holy moly what is this fish what? Pamung again and this one I don't know a little bit what this call this is the name of this fish I want to get this one. It looks like a snake. <laughs> get this one to go home. And over here, the fish fisherman just like cut it for you. The same fish that when you cut off. And this one is 600 baht, 150 baht per kilo. And I got from the local that this is very fresh. They haven't put it on the ice directly from the sea. Okay, we got one. How are you? All right, so he didn't come and get it. I'm gonna get the big one. Wow, one kilo and 400 grams. 250. 250. Are you so happy? Yes. 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 Sawadee Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sai and today I'm gonna show you how to make fried fish with fish sauce and mango salad. One of my favorite recipe. Today we got this fish. This is very huge. I got this one from Fisherman Market in Phuket. For this size it's only 250 baht. Look at that. Huge, 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 huge fish. This fish can get even bigger like we went there we found like probably this size was 700 baht and the lady the local lady said like this is the best price that you can get in the market is so expensive and that one is just like freshly caught from the fishman as you can see in the video and then i just like go up to them and ask like i want this one or you can order in advance it depends on the day which fish they got so we're gonna first we're gonna deep fry this fish but we're gonna cut it out and cut slide this fish up and 
Another ingredient is this one, this one for fish sauce. Over here, there's a fish sauce, coconut sugar, and water. And over here is to make mango salad. We got sugar, lime, fish sauce, um, two type of red chili, oh, red chili and green chili, shallot, and coriander, and then peanut. Where's the mango? Exactly, where's the mango? Zoom out and you will see this is the mango. Come out here, guys. Let's go see where we could get the mango. Let's look from far. I want to look at the best one. Oh my god, so many. Now this one is raw green sour mango called Nam Dok Mai. One of the best mango I I like I like if you're a mango lover this one is the best this one is what when when it's ripe when it's ripe you can have with um, mango and sticky rice but when it's green like this raw like this is very sour and that's what we need for to make salad we pick one this one is a good side all right we got our mango now we go got the fish all right I need a water in here, water in here. Let's get started. So what I, this you can do as you prefer. Me, I wanna be easy for me to eat. So we're gonna cut it out first. So this is how you cut the, the fish. I'll cut this, this out. First time for me, cutting this type of fish. Cause this one you can't find it out in the out in the village. It's like a seafood fish. Let me cut this one first. Careful the finger. And then I'm gonna cut between here. So. Watch out your finger. Oh, I forgot to tell you that um, if you have uh, what you call the scale, fish scale, you do this one to get rid of the fish scale. I already did that in advance, but you can see like it's all gone. So you don't want to eat that scale. Can you see? Did I block it? There you got one piece. Another piece come out. Now we're gonna make this one beautiful. The black thing inside, just scrape it. Now we're gonna wash this one. We got our bone, but we're gonna clean it out. Okay, now we're gonna cu cut into a um, piece. Like that. One more. All 
All right, all done. We got our fish. Now the trick of how to make the fish not sticky to the pan is you warm up the pan first before you put the oil in and also medium heat to high heat. The temperature oil is right. But now we're gonna prepare the fish. We're gonna dry the fish, pat the fish dry. Dry like this and then coat it with crispy flowers. In, you can find this one in Asia store, ready to be fried, like that. Can't wait to eat this one. The oil, the pan, all right, the pan is hot. You know how I know the pan is hot? I put my finger in and it's just like, push. All right, oil, the generous amount of oil. There you go. You think that one bottle will be enough? Or do we need two? Because this is big fish. This is in Uncle Backyard. Look very nice. The view is amazing. <laughs> I'm just making a mess. All right. Let me check if the oil is ready. Yep. Yep, it's ready. So you can see the oil is like running, in, running around and the oil is like very runny and when you drop wood, any wood, chopstick or wood um, spatula, it bubble. Now we're gonna fry our fish. If you try to lose weight, you don't have to add this crispy flour. But this one just to add more crunchy. Oy. See how many I can add if I could add like all in one go. I think I can. When you add the fish in, don't have to stir it, just let it sit. When it's ready, the fish will float up. I can do it, I can do it. Yay! Oh, like little piece around. This is gonna be very crazy. Oh, I can smell the fish already. The fish are cooked. Thing with the charcoal um, pan, if you wanna get it like more heat, simple, fire the stick. You want more heat? This is how you get a heat. While we wait for the fish to cook, we're gonna make mango salad. Now the ingredient of mango salad is mango, coriander, chalet, chili, and crushed um, roasted peanut. 
with sauce, sugar and lime. We add fish sauce in, sugar, and I mix these two together. And then lime. Chili, I put a little bit because I'm not a fan of chili. And chalet. Now this you can add a lot. Chalet. Now the mango. You need, you need to shade them like this. If you don't have the shader, you can use the knife, do like tut 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 and then use like this. But I prefer this one, easier for me. Add our mango. Our peanut and then mix everything together there you go you got your mango salad Come have a look closer. Nice, golden, crispy. Look at that, all done. We're gonna set it on the side and we're gonna do the sauce. Now to do the sauce, add sugar. I'm gonna cook sugar until it melts. Now this step, you need to keep an eye on this one. A little heat, medium heat. And then wait a bit and then we'll add this sauce. Stir fry until it is bubble or until it car caramelize. But this one, we, I got like a very good sugar. And then add this sauce. Smell the fish sauce. I'll stir a little bit to let that fish sauce smell the aroma coming out. Jyoti, Jyoti, hi, hi. She's like, hey. Okay, now that fish sauce smell gone, add water. There you go. Our sauce. Finish. Let me give it a taste test. Okay. Pull our sauce on the side.
All right, do the same with this fish because here's, here's, here's all meat, you know. And this is the fish that we deep fry, the meat. And then topping on top, just like that. Oh, guys, 250 baht for this fish. And then when you're ready, you serve with this sauce. Ah, hot. <laughs> when you're ready, you serve with this fish sauce sauce and mango salad. Now taste test. So we're going to get this one on here. And then what you do is you serve with this sauce, this sauce on top. Just drizzle it as you're going to eat it because it's going to be crispy. And then a little bit of um, salad, mango salad. Wow, guys. Bon appetit. Mm. So crispy. The sour. The sweet and salty. The crispiness. The nutty from the nut. Hmm. 10 out of 10. Very yummy. For this price, 250 baht. This giant price. In the restaurant, it's about 400 baht. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Join me in the next video for an epic foodie escapade. At the biggest festival ever, I'll be rocking traditional Thai dress while we're exploring, mouth-watering, eating on a $15 budget. It's gonna be one heck of a tasty adventure. Don't miss it.